The insane hypocrisy of this is really illustrated, I think, most brilliantly by Chris Matthews's second question. I mean, Chris has been pushing this this line of of questioning for some time. I did this back at CPAC. We were looking around this morning to see if we could find the clip of it, but apparently uh, we didn't. You know, it, it's not stored in a way that we could easily find. But this was like six, eight years ago at CPAC. I had a, a an anti-abortion guy. Uh, and and the ones who like go way over the top are almost always men. Although I'm 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 guessing there are some women out there who take these kind of positions. But anyhow, I said, okay, so let me get this straight. Abortion is murder. He said, yes. I said, in all cases, regardless of when the baby, you know, how or what, it's not even a baby. I mean, you know, whether it's a, a zygote or a fetus or a embryo or, you know, regardless of when it is in the pregnancy, if it's the first two weeks of the pregnancy, it's still murder. And he said, yes. And I said, so then if a woman is a party to committing murder, if she's commissioning murder, if she's hiring a doctor to perform an abortion on her, should she get, should she be electrocuted or should she face a firing squad? And the guy said, and I kid you not, and those of you who are longtime listeners of this program probably remember this, we on our conference call about the show this morning, Louise brought it up and, and uh, Sean remembered it and it was like, yeah. The guy said, that's up to the state. Whether the woman who gets an abortion is executed by firing squad or by electrocution. That's up to the state. But of course, it should be capital punishment. I mean, you know, it's murder. Which is, you know, kind of a variation on, you know, this is the corner that Chris Matthews put Donald Trump in yesterday. Well, here's the, the clip number one. Here's the here's where he set it up. Do you believe no, but, in but you're, do you you're, believe in punishment for abortion? Yes or no? Is a principle. Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment for the woman. Yeah, there has to be some form. This is what happens when somebody who really I mean, Donald Trump has been pro life his whole life. You know, he's, he's supported Planned Parenthood. He's just doing this song and dance because it's necessary to get the Republican nomination, and he doesn't know what he's talking about. Right? This is not an issue that he's ever spent much time thinking about. Other than when he was in support of Planned Parenthood, and he's given us a pretty strong, full-throated defense of Planned Parenthood. But then it got really bizarre when Chris Matthews said, okay, well, what about the men? Don't they play a role in this? Clip number two. What about the guy that gets her pregnant? Is he responsible under the law for these abortions? Uh, Or is he not responsible for an abortion decision? It hasn't. It hasn't. Different feelings, different people. I would say no. Well, they're, they're usually involved. Yes. Yes, the men are usually involved. <laughs> oh man, I this is you know the just the the so just the, the the whole insanity of this thing is is uh, startling to me. And that, by the way, got audible gasps from the audience, at least according to KP over at uh, DU. That second answer where Matt, uh, where Donald Trump. I mean, basically, what he did was he spilled the beans on what's going on here. And that is that uh, this is about men controlling women, by and large. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.